Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Most of us have long forgotten one of the earliest evolutions to drop an EAFC 24, but it sounds like that we're going to have another opportunity to upgrade that evolution finally. Yes, we're talking about that Founders evolution that we got literally at the very start of this game. There is a leak that we need to take a look at saying that there is another Founders Evo upcoming we're going to take a look at that and also some very interesting pack code that at first seems like ea is going to give us free packs but actually means that ea is completely changing how the store looks yeah we're going to talk about that in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's go over yesterday's content and once again it's not going to take long because yesterday just like tuesday was a really slow day the week this week has been a pretty slow week good packs good SBCs that are out but at the same time, it just seems kind of slow, right? Now, yesterday we had the Dynasties 100 upgrade pack, which of course, as you would think, is 100 players inside of this pack. But they are not all gold. 40 gold, 35 silver, and 25 bronze. It's not that expensive, but it does require, yet again, a team of the week player. 83 and 84 rated squad. So again, pretty easy to get done besides that team of the week. I mean, the price of the SBC is actually 73,000 coins because informs are now 40,000 coins a piece. That is the whole reason why informs went up even further yesterday with the 83 times 10 and the fact that the team of the week player pick expired. It is no longer out and available to get team of the weeks from. So informs are 40k. By the way, if you still have informs and you're holding on to them, I would take today as a really good opportunity to start listing those up because I don't think that as we get into Friday, especially as we get into the Friday content drop with the team of the group stage promo upcoming, I don't think informs are going to keep going up, right? I think today on Thursday, maybe into the early hours tomorrow on Friday before people start their weekend league would be the peak time for these informs, especially with today being some of the last kind of refreshes, I would imagine, for a lot of those SBCs in the SBC section. So with the 100 upgrade pack, that's refreshing on Friday. Um, and so informs are going to be in demand on Friday, but I don't think they're going to end up going higher. Uh, of course, you have the 83 times 10 that's going to be going away. Um, you have the Dynasties 100 that's going to refresh. You have some other SBCs that are still available, but I think I would start to sell those. And also, just to speak on this pack for a minute, I, I don't think it's really that worth it, guys. We opened a few yesterday on stream. We got maybe two double walkouts out of, I don't know, maybe 10 that we opened or something like that. I mean, yes, you do get a lot of players to restock your club, but it's so many silvers, so many bronzes. It's really not worth it that much, guys, unless you really need a club stock and you just want to send it because it's 100 players and it sounds cool. I have nothing really against that pack besides the fact that EA keep requiring informs, right? I don't have an agenda against informs, I promise. I just think that it's, it's honestly dumb that informs are as expensive as they are, but it's doing what EA wants it to do right now. It's draining so many coins from this market. But that was the one SBC that we had yesterday for a pretty sizable pack you would say and then we of course had a new team theme pursuit check your clubs for hungarian and japanese silver cards because they are up in value specifically the hungarian silvers were like 4k i believe on the market um, and this has xp inside of it which is why there's people running out to do that so they can get as much xp as possible since we now have one week left of this season and then of course we mentioned it you saw it as we loaded into the video Team of the group stage is finally officially confirmed by EA. Here's the loading screen with the Conference League, the Champions League, and the Europa League car designs. I like them, actually. These are a bit different from what we have normally seen, and I am kind of a fan. So GG's EA, that is finally confirmed. Also confirmed yesterday. Well, we had a Team of the Week. We'll take a look at that real quick. Hyunmin Sun, Aubameyang with a cold dynamic. Taliska looks decent. McGinn with another cold dynamic. Um, pretty average Team of the Week. Really average Team of the Week, to be completely honest. Um, Tavernier looks pretty good. He's Hullet Gang with 90 pace, but I believe he has a two-star weak foot. So again, a pretty, pretty mid team of the week, but we did get confirmation that the UCL heroes and UWCL heroes are going to be coming into packs on Friday with the team of the group stage promo. So what I would watch out for today is I know we have kind of a full leak team already for team of the group stage. Watch out for another loading screen. It would update, maybe add a few things to it, maybe tease a card or two or three. And also I'd be very curious to know, remember before when we had the UCL heroes in those pre-order packs, there were some other UCL heroes on Footbin, and maybe I can even show you guys those right now. 
Uh, yeah, the UEFA heroes like Abedi Pele and Melito, those were not cards that were packable from that pre-order pack. How are we going to find out about these? Are these just going to be in packs? Or are we going to figure that out here pretty soon as well? That's one of my questions in terms of the U UEFA UCL heroes uh, that we did not know from prior instances with those cards on this game. Now, we talked about leaks. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about this evolution, guys. Now, I don't know if you guys still have this player in your club or not. I'm going to show you my player and who I did this founders evolution with if you remember all the way back to the beginning of this year literally like the first couple days of the year there was a very popular evolution that was released because it could give you a pretty solid upgrade right away called the founders evolution it wasn't that hard to do a lot of people did julian alvarez um one of the most popular players was darwin nunez right these are a lot of the players that you could get from this Evo. It was a plus two with plus three pace, three shooting. There was no upgrade to passing or defense, but you got plus three dribbling and plus three physical as well. It was a really nice Evo. And crazily enough, this evolution is still available. It's going to be expiring tomorrow. But the news is Foot Police tweeted yesterday saying the Founders Evolution 2 is going to be added to Ultimate Team and it's expected to be released tomorrow on friday so the f number one founders evo one is going to be going away and evidently founders evo two is going to be coming in and replacing that now like we've had before we've had evolutions like relentless winger and pacey winger that have not been kind of a continuation of the first one like right now i'm working on relentless winger two i couldn't have put the player that i put in relentless winger one to upgrade it even further that's not how it worked right it would make sense for relentless winger one to be able to be upgraded in two but that's really not how it has worked so far for other evos now for this evolution we know for a fact and this is why it actually has a bit of hype in my opinion because a lot of people probably haven't upgraded those cards yet like i still have the alvarez and i've been holding on to my julian alvarez because there has been other evos that he has fit and other opportunities i've had to upgrade his card but with these founder evos ea have said that founders will receive um additional upgrade opportunities during key moments of the year these extra founder evolutions will allow you to continue to upgrade your founders player item so it's a specific founders player item and i have to imagine that it has something to do with the actual car design and what it's called, which is how EA is going to signify what players uh, you will be putting into this, you know, evolution once it comes back. You can see it's called a complete Founders Evolution. So maybe they'll do car design founder. Um, I like the Founders Evolution car design. It's not bad, but that's kind of the hype with this Evo, right? Is that we're finally getting another opportunity to upgrade. If you did Darwin Nunez, a lot of people did um timo verner was very popular the julian alvarez was very popular now for my alvarez i'm sure a lot of you guys maybe have already upgraded yours because there's been like i mentioned other evolutions that you could chain together especially like a power shooter or something like that maybe i scroll down here another power shooter all right not that one there but there's been so many different opportunities that you could have put this card into another evo already using your founders evo because he's fit multiple of them and you could have got a really good card already. But I've been holding off on mine. I'm sure a lot of you guys still have your Founders Evo as well. They've definitely fallen a bit behind the curve, let's be completely honest. But the hope is the upgrade would be pretty good and sizable. And since EA are specifically mentioning that it does kind of carry over, that's why I think there's a bit of hype for this Evo tomorrow. Which, tomorrow, right? It's a leaked date for tomorrow, but that is when the first Founders Evo which a lot of us did in the first week of the game, is actually finally going to expire. So that's kind of the news there, so watch out for that. I'm a bit excited for that one because that has some potential. Hopefully, it's going to be worth the wait. Hopefully, right? Also, I wouldn't mind it if they allowed us to start the Founders Evolution 1 over again so that we could start a whole nother path with another card that we maybe didn't do from the beginning, but that's probably wishful thinking. It's probably just going to be Founders Evo 2, and then we'll be able to increased ratings on our already completed first founders evolution let's talk market a bit because you know the market honestly has been a pretty quiet place over the last day or so besides informs going crazy high that's probably one of the biggest things to talk about right now in this game uh the market's been pretty quiet and so have these cards to be honest we we had a lightning round that was dropped yesterday which was expected but it really didn't move prices that much now they're down a little bit as expected 
but it wasn't necessarily because of a bunch of tradable supply. Like Leroy Sané was between 68 and 71. After content, you can see he went down to about 65,000 coins where he is now. And that's about that's just about how all of these graphs look. But there wasn't a lot of big panic selling yesterday and there wasn't a lot of sizable market drops on the promo cards at least just because the the lightning round that they ran was untradeable and they never added any more lightning rounds now of course they did refresh a lot of these other packs here in the store the 86 double so it did impact these prices a bit but today on thursday and as we've seen in the past couple of weeks on thursdays it's actually usually pretty good day for the market in terms of especially after division rivals rewards and i'm kind of looking at some of the players in the promo team today remember last week we flipped zaha right it was one of those flips where we bought it before rivals or right around the start of rivals rewards and we sold it before the content drop because the content drop brought you uh marquee matchups which brought more tradable pack supply to the game so if you want to try to flip any of these cards today from the ultimate dynasties i think there's an opportunity to do so like we saw sane was 71 and right now what is he 65 or 66 000 coins if i could pick this up on a bid or on a snipe with a good chemistry style for like 62k i would do it right that's pretty risk free in my opinion uh because thursdays are really big gameplay days a lot of people i think put off their qualification games for foot champs on the weekend until thursdays and again, that is today after Rivals Rewards. People maybe even go out and do a couple of SBCs. But I'm looking at most of the meta market and the impacts cards that people maybe want to try. Again, Zaha from last week was the one that worked really well for us. So I'm kind of looking at this promo team again. Hoyland, Sané, maybe Timber, maybe um, Inaki Williams, maybe Taram, either of the two. I don't know. I'm just shouting out some names that could potentially move a little bit today. I'm not expecting massive moves, but it's maybe a quick flip opportunity with some of those cards. But once we get marquee matchups, you guys know this, like every single week, once we get marquee matchups, you won't want to hold on to these cards because they will drop because they're in packs and they get supplied. Same thing with the icons. Uh, even though Varone's like 75K and, and pretty cheap or Rivaldo, actually he's up a little bit, but um, you know, I wouldn't, honestly, I haven't even traded or really cared about any of these prices throughout the whole entire week besides Rivaldo, just because it doesn't seem like these icons have a ton of hype besides maybe like three or four of them. So those would be the only icons that I would really take a look at and, and care about too much on the market, but there might be an opportunity to flip some of those promo cards today. Now I do want to take a look at fodder really quick too, as we're talking about the market, because fodder yesterday actually dropped off a considerable amount courtois 51,000 coins all of these 90s started at 55,000 coins yesterday they were getting sold off all day during the day they went down to about 50,000 coins at content and they're maybe up like a thousand to two thousand coins now some of them 52 53k but most of them you see lewa 51 courtois 51 um fodder in general yesterday just kind of dropped off i think it was probably People that still had it left were selling it and getting it out, but it also at the same time, uh, people expected supply, and there was a little bit, but not a ton, and these prices really dropped off. So GG's, if you sold your fodder a little bit earlier on in the week, I wasn't expecting it to drop off as much as it did yesterday, especially on the 90s, but that actually gives me hope that we might be able to buy into fodder again this weekend maybe friday light night late maybe saturday once again we can look to invest in these cards because if i, I was afraid they weren't going to drop and the fact that they have i think bodes well for us for the weekend for a potential investment opportunity before we get like we've mentioned another icon player sbc um, another icon sbc upgrade pack type of situation so i like the fact that this stuff has dipped a bit because that could bring us a potential investment not today but friday late maybe into saturday if it keeps moving down and if we are supposed to be getting like we are it's more sbc so that's kind of the fodder situation right now in this game as well um and then as i take a look at just kind of the rest of this game and you think about today in general today really just is a gameplay kind of a grind day thursday content today um i guess we do still have the potential if we take a look at ea sports's twitter for the their tweet earlier in the week about what's upcoming content wise i would have to imagine it'd be the uwcl showdown maybe um for the women's champions league i don't know if that's going to be dropped today I'm not expecting a ton of content on, on a thursday it's usually really really quiet so probably marquee matchups and then this i don't know if we're getting the icon spc that could be today as well but honestly to me that sounds like it might be something later on in the weekend um like a player spc again that one is so 
I don't think it's going to be a pretty busy day of content today. It's going to be a day of gameplay grind, getting stuff done, getting qualified for champs and all that. They finally upgraded a lot of the Thundershot cards yesterday, which was expected. And there was some price drop-offs as well, which is why we always sell into the hype. Joe Gomez was one that really dropped off. He's now coming back now a bit. But you can see from 64K, sold all the way down to 55, back up now to 60K. Watch for those panic sales. I mean, that's what I'll say because those those cards get panic sold a ton and they actually end up being pretty good to trade with. They could be good to trade with today. Same thing with the radioactives since they're still pretty recent promo cards. And uh, yeah, continue to watch these that are still live. All right. I mean, non-Premier League Thunderstruck cards are still live. They've got games left and upgrades left potentially coming. Ooh, Kaka for 1.29. That's pretty low for him. Like, that's very, very low because usually he's like 1.37. So I would actually take a look at that card right now because if there's a Kaka that's sitting there for that price, I would consider it. And especially if there was like one more undercut or if it looked really rare to 1.3 highs. Ooh, 1.289. Yeah, we, we might have to... We might have to get interested with a Kaka. It's pretty low because I think we'll be able to sell him for like 1 1.27 1 or 1 1.37, 1 1.38 at some point today on Thursday. So if I saw like one more undercut of like 126, I would potentially buy that so we can make 30, 40K. That'd be a good flip. But that's kind of how I'm doing the market right now. Just some quick flips, I'm not investing it too much because today is another refresh day for the 83 times 10, the 84 times or the 85 times two and all that stuff. So it's just going to drain a few more coins. Now, the last thing I want to talk about in the video today are some more leaks, and they're actually really interesting. First of all, we're having Team of the Group stage next, um, but I don't know if EA is going to put these cards in packs or if these are SBCs. Now, right now, as we take a look at any of the live Road to the Knockout cards, which some of them are getting upgraded after yesterday's games as well, Usman's going to get a plus one because PSG got out of the group they did not win so it's not a plus two but he is going to get a plus one and go to a 90 rated card um and actually he's rebounding back up a bit from where he was he was 980 looks like he went all the way down to 730 wow he's back up almost 100,000 coins so a big rebound there um Osaman's going to get himself a plus two for the win and for the advancement um but there was a lot of plus ones yesterday for advancing or finally getting a win like kalulu getting a plus one as well. And they finally upgraded the live cards, which of course uh, they dropped off afterwards. So Simicon got left back, got, went to the 87 rated mark. And you can see he went from 36K down to 26, back to 29. And he's kind of at 28 right now. So selling the hype, man. I mean, that's all that we have to say there. But with these UWCL cards, um, we don't have any of them that are live anymore. And they're still in the group stages besides Basha. Basha is like the only one I think that is live. All the other ones, like Mallard and Huth, uh, their clubs are no longer in. So we have four leaked UWCL Road to the Knockouts. It's confusing, though, because we're going to have the team of the group stage promo, and these are leaked. I Guys, again, I don't know if these are going to be in packs, but Guijara will actually be really, really hyped, especially because the Barcelona women's team is absolutely insane. So watch out for that leak there. We've also got a PSG women's player, Chawinga. She's actually one of the newest players that has been added um, to, like, you know, when they added new players in, like Ramos um, and Adama Traore a couple of weeks ago. She was added in for the women's PSG side. She has a lot of pace. Needs a weak foot upgrade, though, I do believe. So she is leaked to be coming soon. And then Frygang. Uh, from the women's Frankfurt side. And we also have Dufour from Paris FC. So four, yes, four. That would actually be two cards, by the way, that link really nice with Basha with the D1 Arkema links. Um, four of those UCL, UWCL RTTKs that are coming. Again, we just don't know. Is that in packs or those SBCs? Are they going to be released this Friday with Team the Group Stage? We will have to see. Now, this is the real big thing that I mentioned in the intro of the video, because when you read this pack description, the ultimate supporter pack, and I'm actually going to look at it down here because you can see the full thing. This is what it says. A special pack for you. You're seeing this pack because you've entered ultimate team for at least 30 days. And then it goes on to list what's in the pack. When you read those first two sentences, it sounds like it's a free pack, right? And EA has given out engagement rewards before where it's like, hey, you log into this game for a certain number of days and you get some free packs or you get a pack, right? They've done that a bunch of times in previous promos. But that pack description and the name of that pack and stuff like that occurs a couple other times and going along with a leak, 
that was also dropped yesterday by ASY Foot Trader. He said EA will start experimenting with account exclusive store packs. There will be a for you section in the store that shows packs available for your account. They'll be starting with the 10 and 30 coin packs soon. And just like we read, um, there was other packs that were added to the code that were called like the premium energizer pack and um, basically the same name as the 10 coin pack and the 30 coin pack from the Thunderstruck Black Friday promo. But it, again, it was like this. It was like a special pack for you. You're seeing this pack because you've been our ultimate team, blah, 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 for a number of days. Like if that is actually happening, then this pack is not a free pack. This pack that we just read about a special pack for you is actually going to cost coins. And it's just another way where EA can try to release a pack for the hardcore users or maybe for the more casual users because there's two steps to this, right? There's a pack for you because you've played at least 30 days. And then the other packs in the code were, here's a pack for you because you've played this game for at least three days, right? So three days versus 30 days, maybe more casual kind of audience for the three days and a more hardcore audience for the 30 days. It's just, it sounds like inst instead of it being fun or something that EA is gonna do to like give us free packs, um, instead, it sounds like it's just a new way where EA is going to try to take advantage of people that go into the store and make it seem like this pack is special to you. But in reality, we can see the pack code and it is a good pack, right? I mean, it includes two trail lasers, Centurions, Triple Threat, Pro Live or Thunderstruck items, 85 or above. Also, 85 rare gold players, 187 plus. So it's a pretty big pack with 85 players in it. It just doesn't seem as cool. When you're thinking about it like wow okay ea is specifically saying this pack is made for me um and they want me to spend the coins or the fc points on this so it doesn't seem as cool when you think about it in that way when i saw that pack code yesterday i was like wow they're giving out a really sick free pack but then after i saw that leak i was like wait a second a special pack for you that seems like way too good of a pack for ea to give out and after seeing that leak it was kind of making sense so that's one of the biggest things that we saw. I don't know when that's going to take place. They had, I mean, EA ran, what, six hours of maintenance yesterday? Six hours of freaking maintenance there was in this game. So I don't know if that was in part to add some of that stuff in or not. I guess we'll find out here very soon. It's not like there's another title update or anything, but they can update the store like that on a fly, I believe. So definitely keep an eye out for that because those could be some nice packs and there were some other really nice packs that were added to the code related to team the group stage um but those ones that were the specifically for you packs i don't know we'll have to see if ea changed anything there but it seems a little snaky and i'm not sure i like it but we'll just have to see also yesterday got my upgraded kutia mero finished off the lead kang in spc who got fully upgraded by the way he got all three of his upgrades 88 rated now links to Mbappe it's gonna go boom straight in the team so I'm excited to try his card out and uh yeah I haven't had to play a game uh and you know rivals I got done we got rewards coming tomorrow division five I've been qualified for weekend league since the weekend so gameplay for me this week has been kind of just slow and far in between it's just been kind of a slow week and I wonder if any of you guys are feeling that as well let me know in the comments how you're feeling about this week but it just it just feels like it's kind of dragging along and going kind of slow i'm ready for friday honestly i'm super ready for team of the group stage uh because i'm excited of what content can bring like the spc for kane looks super dope the cards and packs are going to be pretty sick and we're getting the heroes and packs as well so i'm excited for that but we have one more day until we get there and hopefully we can make some coins today on this game with maybe some of the ultimate dynasty players and some of the other cards that have been released into packs or that are out of packs like we just looked at with that kaka so that's gonna be the video for today guys if you did enjoy smash thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nate the food account see you guys in the stream today peace